Hi, Kendra, I love you. Oh, no, it was static. Let me take you out just to see if it's me. Hello? Okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, I think it's better. Well, let's try. What's it's still, name? my name is Candy, but I prefer to be called Candy. Okay, they're telling, is my audio still messed up? It sounds better. It sounds better. Okay, what's your name, baby girl? Uh, my name is Candice, but I be, prefer to be called Candy. Candy. All right, Candy, where are you calling us from? Los Angeles. L.A. Is this your first time here? Uh, on your call? With you? Have you been on the show before? No, I haven't. Okay. Have you been on with Zach? Because you said with me. No, I, I haven't. <laughs> Okay. Candy LA, how old are you, mama? I am I'm 36 years old. 36. Okay. Do you have any kids? Um uh, my son is deceased. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. You can still consider him as your son. Oh no, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Recently? Um, a few years ago. Sorry. Okay. I never know how to answer that question. It's just well, you can always say you still have a son. He's just not here with us right now. But he's still, you still, mm -hmm. you still have a son. I have. First of all, I want to be sensitive. Um, I've had people who have lost children, and they still consider their children as their children. So I'm sorry you went through that. I'm sorry you went through that. Thank you, um, Candy. LA, 36. Um, have you ever been married? No. No. Um, what do you do for a living, Mama? Um. Also disabled. Okay, so you don't you don't you don't work? Not right now, no. Um, do you want to share your disability? Um, I need a kidney. I need a kidney transplant. I need a living donor or a deceased donor. Oh my God, what's going on? Have you been dealing with kidney issues for a while? Um, actually, no. I um. I had a different condition called gastroparesis where I just couldn't eat and I, my stomach didn't work. It's basically paralysis of the stomach. And for four years straight, I was in and out of the hospital every single month for four years. And um, I, then I got a device placed in my stomach to make it work like a pacemaker for the stomach. And then I, I start eating. I got better and I started gaining my weight back. And I was just so happy. And then I went to a doctor's appointment and they were like, oh, your kidneys are functioning at 17%. And I'm like, what? Four years I've been in and out of the hospital. How come you guys didn't tell me when my kidneys were at 85% and 50%? And so I've just been dealing with, you know, this shock of being so young and needing a kidney. And I'm claiming it. Um, I have an evaluation next month for a transplant. Just keeping my fingers crossed. Well, we are praying for you too. So you just found out that you needed a Kennedy. A kid, um, a kid. And at the end of 2022, yes. Okay. Well, we are definitely saying prayers for you too. You got Thank a lot going on. Oh my goodness. So with that case, that's the reason I, you're no longer working. Yes. Um, and if I wasn't time? disabled, I, I'm going to go get her. If I wasn't disabled, you know, um, I would be out here getting it. I was traveling. I was making money. I had a job and everything. And then this happened. So. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, guys, the audio messing up again. I, I don't want the audio mess up. Let's try to see if we can push through. What's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Aries. And so we got Candy LA, 36 Aries. Unfortunately, her son passed away. She's current, never married, currently not working due to a disability. She needs a kidney transplant. Uh, what kind of man are you looking for, Mama? Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm not necessarily looking for men only. Um, I'm a lover, and um, I am interested in meeting someone that's very generous. Yes, Hold on, generous. Real quick. Do you have music on? Yes, I do. You Let me turn, turn the it music off. off. I'm here. Okay, I think it. I think it's better now. All right. Okay. So you said you were saying you're not just looking for men. You're also yes. looking for women. So let's start again. Yes. What are you looking for um, I'm Polly and um I'm I don't want to meet any couples at all. Yes, I'm Polly, but no one that's already in a situation, not interested in that. Um a generous, a lover, someone who um is active in the community. Um empathy, compassion. 
people that try not to judge people. And um, I'm pretty sure there's other things, but just like the basics. Okay. They're telling me it's static here. Am I still static here too? Um, it's going kind of going in and out. It's, it sounds better now. Okay, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try with her. If the next person is still static, then I have to start a new live. But let's see if we can continue. Okay, what yes, are your deal breakers, Candy? Um, disrespect. Um, alcohol. My last relationship, she's an alcoholic. I cannot do drugs and alcohol at all. Um, I I'm someone who has good intentions. And um, deal breakers, smokers, cigarette smoke, no, and just like not open minded. Okay, not open minded. Um, have you always just curious? Have you always dated men and women? Um, actually, it started off with women for a long time. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you had your husband. I'm, I'm excuse me. You, your son was you in a relationship with a man or was that like uh you got pregnant by a sperm donor with a woman mm -hmm. that's what happened yeah and so i had okay i was with my ex-girlfriend okay so your son was a product of a sperm donor situation yes did you carry or did the woman carry i carried i yeah. lost the baby uh stillborn oh gotcha understand mm -hmm. how many years ago was this uh 2019 Okay. Okay. Thank you for the full story. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So men or women, um, do they have to look a certain way? Yes. So for women, I do prefer feminine women. Um, I'm open to everyone because I'm a, just a lover. And if we vibe, we vibe. Um, but I, my preference is a sexy feminine woman. Okay. And for men, um, I think I'm a little bit more pickier because I'm more attracted to women. Um, but you know, just handsome, looks good, well groomed, clean cut, smell good, dress nice, no thugs. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta say that kind of stuff. I don't want no thugs. <laughs> now let's talk about money. Should she or he make a certain amount of money? Um, it's not my business how much money you make, but um, because I'm disabled and I'm actually reaching out to your show because I feel like, you know, for I've, I've been sick for a long time and I'm not able to do the things that I see on Instagram, travel and do the things that I love to do. And I'm not who I used to be. And I kind of just want somebody who I can meet that's actually generous, who says, you know, this woman deserves to, I don't mind, like God has blessed me. So I don't mind blessing this young lady, you know, because I want to be back traveling and I want to go to the spa and, and I, and I want to do things like that. And I feel like because I'm disabled has like, I am not able to do the things that I love and I can't, I just can't afford it because I'm disabled. And well, so, let me ask you this. Are you, I, guess, I was going to ask you, are like, if you have the money, can you do those things or even with the money? So absolutely. You can't... Before I got sick, like I was traveling out of work outside the country by myself. Yeah. Um, I think I started traveling when I was like 18 by myself. So, um, and I've always had like a good job and, you know, but this has just kind of just stopped everything. So just, I want to make sure I hear you correctly. So money's not a requirement, but you wouldn't mind a guy that would want to had enough money to take you around the world and take you to the spa. So you would like a man that could afford to do those things. Yes. But how much you make is none of my business. Well, he has to make enough money to, to travel. And I mean, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But like, I can't put like, I'm not going to say, okay, do you how like, let me see your bank. Do you make a million dollars? Do you make X, Y, Z? Like, that's like none of my business. I feel like, you know, that's some personal business. You know what I mean? But if you're going to hit me up and you're going to like reach out to me, I feel like you should already come with the intentions of this is what I'm going to, this is the type of relationship that I can consider with Candy. So let me just ask this clearly. If they were in a situation like you and, and couldn't afford to take you on traveling trips or take you to the spa, would they have a chance with you? Um, at this point in my life, I don't think so. But if I was healthy and moving around, then yes, absolutely. So, okay. So let's just, okay, let's just be clear and say what it is. So no, you do want a person that can, is in a better financial situation than yourself. 
that mm -hmm. can take you around the world and on trips into the spa. And if they can't afford to do that, then they wouldn't have a chance. I don't even think you should hit me up because that's not what I'm looking for. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. okay. Thank you for the clarity. I mean, I'm just saying, I, I watched a video with the guy on the cruise the other day and he said what he was looking for. And, you know, everyone wants something different. At this point in my life, that's what I'm looking for because I feel like I've been single and sick and just always in the hospital and always in the bed lying around. And like, that's not me. And so this is me coming to singles live is me like trying to do something different because I've never been in this situation before. And this is me trying to get back in a, 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 a state of I'm not depressed and I'm not just, you know, living a sick life. This is me trying to manifest something that I'm desiring. Okay. I understand. I, I'm a firm believer in manifestation too. We'll move forward. I'll just ask this. You said you primarily dated women and men. Did you in, in, in your healthier times, did you ever have that dynamic? Did you ever have a situation where a partner was paying for you to go on trips? Um, no, I haven't had, well, kind of, yes. I will say yes and no, because I, like I said, I'm poly. So I have been in, I have been in poly relationships where I was like the third, like they were already together and then they invited me in and like they was, you know, spoil me and do these things and yeah. But like, as far as like, um, and my ex who I just recently broke up with, she, she millionaire got the bag, but she was hella toxic. She was alcoholic and it was traumatized and it was horrible. Okay. So that one had the money, but you couldn't deal with it. I cannot deal with it. No. Okay. Okay. I want to be respectful. Cause I know you're disabled. Do you want to do the Kendra cam? It would be an option for you. Oh no, I can do the Kendra cam. Let me just take okay. off my robe. Okay. Is there a way that I can turn this camera around? Um, you can, or you could just like push it down. And um, what's this question? I don't know. Let me see. This is the I have another question. I'll, I'll um, Pookie's baby mama be having the questions. Chuck. I don't know. I'm just gonna turn my phone around, and you can just tell me if you can see me in the mirror. Okay. Okay. All right. We see you. It looks like I could kind of see you. Wait. 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 Okay. All right, I think I think we can see her, right, cousins? I like you're in shape. Thank you. Okay. Now I, I feel like you made it clear, but let me Pookie's baby mama asked this. They said, What if what if he or she, because she's open to both Pookie Baby Mama, what if he or she doesn't have enough money for cruises, but has enough for dinner dates, comedy shows, and concerts? I actually am interested in traveling. That's my biggest interest. <laughs> You know, I got my homegirls. We do comedy clubs. I go out when I can eat. So, but I, 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 let, hold on, hold on. Let me just let me be clear. I am. I want to have an enjoyable life. So I'm not saying no to dinner dates. I'm not saying no to anything like that. But I'm saying that if you're hitting me up, you already need to know what I'm asking for. If you cannot provide, you know, that experience, then just don't hit me up. That's what I'm saying. Just so, just so hit you up. Okay. Um, this is why I always ask people because if you ever experience it. So mm -hmm. let's say the man that can afford to do these things does not. Our hit woman. Or that's why I got. I gotta keep remembering that because she's not just into men. You're right, men or woman. Well, you did say you had it in a woman, but she was just toxic. Mm -hmm. Let's just say hypothetical. Not saying this is the option, but let's just mm -hmm. say hypothetical because the mm -hmm. option could be a person who can afford to do those things may not reach out to you, but mm -hmm. the other scenarios can, you don't, you'll have to have either that or nothing. No, no. Um, you can hit me up if you're trying to donate a kidney to me. You can hit me up if you're interested in a poly relationship, or you can hit me up if you want to provide that travel experience and me helping me relax, or if you want to buy me CMOS and things like that. That I need to get better. I'm okay with that as well. Ooh, child, one thing Candy going to do, she's going to be clear with it. We're going to keep going. I got another question for you. D Green, D Green, Saint, D Green said, serious question. So you can travel the world, but you can't sit at home and work remote at a desk for eight hours? I cannot um, work. I can't even 
some days I can't even like I'll make plans with someone like you might say let's book a trip right and then I might not even be able to make the trip because I get sick so it's just it's kind of random and this is why I'm trying to meet someone who's open to knowing like hey this woman is sick or whatever um and I said they want to be like a blessing to me and um but I can't like work at a desk I I'm I'm disabled for now but, for now but okay I guess what they were saying is okay we get that but if someone wants to take you to Paris for a week you could make that work Oh yeah, because I can be, I can be at the spa. I can be relaxing. I don't have to be doing anything intense. Okay, um, let's keep going. But girl, you know you tapping into a couple of emotions tonight, so they got some more paid questions. Andre um, Fa Andre Foss said, "Let's not confuse the words deserve and desires. You work for what you deserve." I don't know about that. That's their opinion, though. Don't play with it. Okay, they're telling me, I guess they're going to your page, y'all. They're saying her page says nail tech. Is she a nail tech candy cane? I'm a licensed nail tech. You are. So do you do nail tech work? Um, I do sometimes, but not right now for income. Um, I had a I had clients at one point, but um when I first started dialysis, I was it was it was I rejected it. And so I had, I lost a lot of clients and I just said, well, right now, let me just focus on me. Also, I'm a fashion stylist before I have a lot going on if I wasn't sick. So yeah. I'm not a bum ass bitch who just asking for a high, a handout. That's not me. That's never been my personality. I'm doing this right now because I do believe in the power of manifestation. And I do if, believe that if I put it out here in the universe, I can show up, you know, I'm not for everybody, just like everybody ain't for me, but this is me, and I, and I don't even have expectations. No one might hit me up. Nobody might be willing to do that, but I'm just putting myself out there. Okay, okay. Um, let's keep going. Um, when was your last relationship? Uh, it was uh, 2022. 2022. You don't mm -hmm. have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? July 2022. July 2022. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, what are three flaws you have to work on? Um, I have to work on putting a little sugar because sometimes I'm not, <laughs> even though my name is Candy, it's like sometimes I have a, I don't sugarcoat shit. And like sometimes I'll be blunt and someone will take it personally because I'm just like so straightforward. And so I have to consider someone's feelings more. Um, I also need to know uh, when to cut something off when it's not healthy for me. Um, because a lot of times I like to have, see potential in people and or someone say, oh, I'm going to change this. But they're not. When somebody shows me who they are, I have to believe them the first time. So doing that. And um, uh, like I said, just having a different mindset as far as, you know, it's no pity me. It's, you know, not being so hard on myself because this has happened to me and I've lost my son and I've, I'm not better now. And just like, just having a more uh, positive uh, conversation with myself. Okay. And this kind of goes into the last question, but I'll let you answer it too. Ripples and waves. And I, and I think, you know, I do want to be sympathetic because here's the deal. Um, I think you... I think you tapped into a lot of emotions of the cousins with being so direct, uh, the kind of person you want and how can they financially do certain things. But I also do want to remind everybody she is, she is Dylan. She needs a kidney. Things have happened. So let's be a little sympathetic, but I will read this question. Rip, Ripples and Waves said, why should someone sign up to babysit you? What would you bring to the table? Oh, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't need a babysitter. I, I've never once mentioned that I need somebody to watch me. I, I definitely said I would like someone to be providing for me, um, but I don't need a babysitter. I have a care. I have someone who can help me around here and babysit if I need that. Um, but that's not what I'm here for. Um, and what was the second part of that question? Well, it was what would you bring to the table? So I was getting ready to ask why would I'm a guy be like to be with oh, you? Oh, I'm a lover. I'm a lover. I'm a cook. I write, um, I clean, you know, I, I'm funny. I, I can style you, you know, I, I can role play, get sexy, spank you, tie you up. I mean, I got, I got some, 
know, something got going on. So you're not just someone on bed rest. You're able, you're up and moving. Yeah, when I can. Some days I have no wig, no makeup, not th none of this, you know, feeling sick. And then since y'all have already went to my page, KBI, um, then you can see that, you know, I could get done up, but I also have my days where I'm not that. Right. Listen, I think, I think this one is this again, this person doesn't speak for everybody, but I think this is kind of what happened. Cause I think Allison Pat Patton said, and I think you kind of alluded to this too. So I'll read it to you. Allison Patton said, sending blessings for a new kid kid kidney. If I could talk sending blessings for a new kidney, but her attitude is less desirable. And I think, I think you said that when you could put some more sugar, because I do think overall, most people are sympathetic. Like we're sympathetic. Mm -hmm. You lost your child. We're sympathetic that you are in a situation where you need a kidney. But then I think you might have lost some sympathy, if there's any, when you made it clear the kind of person you desire to date you. If they can't afford to do those things, they shouldn't reach out to you. So, but that's neither here nor there. Now, today I was on Instagram scrolling because I have lots of time to scroll. And I started following, I believe her name was Carissa. And she kind of gives people like these travel updates, right? And she teaches you how to budget, budget friendly, flights that are like $100 to international flights and this time of year and all these deals for you know, this month and she'll tell you, and it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have, I didn't, there's, I, I said like, whatever you make is your business. That's not my problem. But what I am asking for is for you to be able to do these things. Now I'm not saying that I want you to be taking me out of the country once a week, every for the, for a whole year. I'm not asking for that. Um, I think you guys are getting too emotionally attached to this is what I'm requiring. If it doesn't if it doesn't work for you, then that's fine. But that doesn't make my attitude stank. I don't have a stank attitude. I'm just looking for what I'm looking for and I believe in the power of manifestation. Sorry that you don't dream big. Ooh, yeah. You know what? Listen, <laughs> it drops the mic. Only thing I would say is I, this is where I, I talk about this often that Instagram, social media in itself is a gift and a curse. Because like you said, what happens is, especially on Instagram, mostly everybody's rich on Instagram. So you're scrolling on Instagram and you even mention it. Like, I deserve that. Like, I'm watching women being pampered by other men. And because women see this, up, or women, that's right, I, I got to remember. Not because this is what your, your audio went on. I can't hear you, Candy. Not because, can you hear me? Yes. Not because I'm seeing women, men do this, or women do this for someone. No, I don't desire that because someone's doing that for them. I desire that because I, that's what I used to do. That was me before I got disabled. I was traveling and I didn't depend on nobody to travel. I've been doing this shit since I was 18 years old. And when I got my passport, matter of fact, I had a passport before I was even 18. So I've been traveling. Like I didn't, I didn't, this is who I am and I want to get back to that and I might not be able to do it for myself right now. But once I have this transplant for this pancreas and this kidney, I don't, I wouldn't be, I could take you out because I like to spoil my bitches. So don't get the shit twisted. Like y'all so headstrong. And like I said, I'm saying what I see on Instagram, people traveling. I'm, I don't care who's providing that trip for that woman or lady. That's none of my business. I'm just saying that I see people doing that and that's what I want to do again. I miss that. Okay. Listen, fair enough. One thing I don't want to do is get you worked up. Um, <laughs> I, a lot of people have paid to say stuff. I'm going to read it once you go, though, because I don't know if I want... It's not all bad, though. This is a good one. Someone said, just be... Uh, Rhea Alizé said, just because she's disabled doesn't mean she has to accept just anything. So that was that was something I feel as though was positive. Um, you know, again, people are just saying, Ripples and Waves said, if you have a lot of time to scroll, then you have a lot of time to work. Um now let me get don't see y'all get the shit twisted. Let me tell you a little bit about me. I I I I might not be able to work 40 hours, 50 hours a week, right? I'm not able to do that, but I still do things that make me happy. So very a uh, couple times if I can a month, maybe two, maybe only once. I volunteer. I work when I before I was disabled, I'm a youth advocate. I work with former foster youth. Um and I give back in my community. I might not be able to get hired with the company right now because of my disability, but I desire these things. So I'll feed the homeless and I um I work with another organization where we uh uh 
furnish former foster youth's first apartment. Like I do the things that I can do. I can't be moving furniture and stuff, but I might do decorate their bathroom or whatever. But you guys are just getting like you guys are getting it misconstrued. Like I'm not. I'm not like a gold digging ass female. That's not, that's not what my intention is. Like I've never even had a designer bag. I never, I'm not asking you to put cash in my hands. I'm just asking for some ex new, more experiences besides being in the hospital. Okay. Understandable. Do you want me to read these questions or no? You, it, yeah, it's sure. You I'm okay. not worried about these cousins. Okay. <laughs> so she ain't worried about you cousins. All right. Chad Livingston said, if she's on dialysis, how can she even travel to Paris? Oh, um, there you for me to uh move uh that I have manual dialysis and then I also have my machine here and with any airline uh medical equipment is free to travel with so. Okay, so she got it. She got that together. D mm -hmm. Green said it may not be expensive, but it may be a waste of money since you're saying that you might not even be able to make the trip due to your illness. Could be. Okay, she said that's fair. Uh, Victoria's lawyer said this was very disappointing. You want a bank, not a lo not a lover or a partner. Go rob one. There are men and women who actually want love. Stop wasting our time. I do wish you well with your health, though. Oh, you missed that part then, because you said what are some things that you're looking for, and I said that I, I'm looking for a kidney donor and I'm looking to be in a poly relationship. So you must have missed that part. That went over your head. Well, I think what she's saying is, and I think this is where I think you lost a lot of people when we got the clarity of if a person, well, if the person can't afford to take you out on trips, they, that they shouldn't reach out to you. That's not what you mm -hmm. desire. But if they can give you a kidney, they can hit you up. So I think mm -hmm. what she is saying is, you know, maybe someone can't afford to give you, doesn't have the kidney to give you, or maybe can't afford to take you out on a trip, but could date you where you're at. But clearly that's not what you desire. And, 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 and we have... Her time and time again, manifestation is what we are right now. So she is not desiring a person who's currently in her own situation. Yeah, and I'm not looking for, like, I love love. Like I said, I love love. If you look at my signature, my signature is a heart. Like, I, I'm all for love, and that's why I said I'm open to dating any anybody as far as men and a woman. And um, I have a lot of love to give, but it needs to come with, you know, um, of course, the vibes need to be there. I don't want somebody just spending money on a trip and like there's no connection like i would like to if it doesn't work out with us in a poly relationship then i would like to still have a friendship if it doesn't like end on bad terms i would like to have that long lasting relationship and i'm totally open for love i love love i love romance i love all of that but okay. that needs to come with what i'm asking for as well and he and he said your love costs the thing <laughs> Jennifer Lopez said her love don't cost a thing, but Candy's love costs a thing. Okay, and let's just be clear. We're gonna end it right there. I don't. I don't want to get you worked up. I do want to honor your health. So we got mm -hmm. Candy in LA. Should the person be in LA, a man or a woman? No. Okay. Do you have an age range? You're thirty six. Yes, thirty six to um, I don't know, like fifty. Fifty. Okay. And um, she said she's open. Do you have a preference? Do you prefer a woman? Um, no preference. I do prefer feminine women. Okay. All right, boo. How could he or she reach out to you? Um, some of the people already know how to get to me. Um, I'm at on Instagram at royally root underscore rooted. That's R O Y A L L Y underscore rooted R O O T E D. Okay, listen, no more pay questions for Candy. I, I have these two. I will give you these last two, but I don't want y'all to pay for no more questions to ask her because we don't y'all don't ask a lot of questions. But I'll let you in with these two. So one said, um, um, let me okay, I'll get right here. Pookie's baby mama said, You never describe your perfect partner. You just told us what you, you just told us you want a kidney, poly, and other trips. What are some qualities you're looking for in your perfect partner? Someone who likes to give back. Um, not just to me, <laughs> but like if you're willing to volunteer with me, I do love volunteering and getting in the community. Um, romance. I love a romantic person and a thoughtful person. Um, and someone that doesn't, I think I did, someone that doesn't judge 
and who is open. Okay. All right. And the last question. No, don't pay no more questions. It's the last one. Jamie K said, you have time to travel and do this and that around the house, but don't have time for a job. There are per diem jobs. People work in worse conditions. I don't know. All right, there you have it. All right, listen, I, I, I thank you for being um, open to hearing these questions from the audience. And I sincerely do wish you well. I wish you a kid. I wish you a kidney over everything. Thank like you. If, if, and if you could get a man or, or excuse me, a woman in a kidney, then that's great. God's, God's blessing. But my prayer is that you find a, a donor for your kidney and you can continue to get life back to the way that you used to live. Thank you. And I just wanted to thank you for this platform. I think for our community is definitely needed and you learn a lot from people when you do these interviews as you guys can see <laughs> <laughs> no you definitely learn this is why i love this show because i think we all learn something from every type of guest so you keep me posted on your journey honey when are we getting the app oh the app well i do have an update i had a meeting with them today i'm just not telling y'all i don't want to give a date it's it's sooner than later but i feel like i cannot give another day and if i don't make it but it, it will be sooner than later Okay. Bye. Your audio went out again, but okay. okay. Keep the post, love. All right. Bye, baby.